All right, I just got back from the keto con and everything in my basket is keto friendly. And I will show you the haul when I get back. I'm gonna need to organize my refrigerator, but I'm excited for this upcoming week. doing a grocery haul of everything that I bought right after the keto convention and I'm excited to show you because this is the first time in a very long time that I have left the grocery store with all things keto friendly. So let's start on this side of the sink. We brought home the berries. I brought some strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. Hopefully I can get the kids to eat more of them this week in yogurts and in cereal or just plain like that. I've got two cases. These are the best eggs that we have in our grocery store. They don't have the Vital Farms. So I got two packs of the 18 packs. So I wanna keep one to make breakfast with and one or maybe a dozen um, where we do hard boiled eggs and keep them in the fridge for snacks or a quick pop of protein. Ivy, one vegetable that she likes are carrots, so she tells me. So I bought these mini cut snack packs in the hopes that maybe she will eat them and start incorporating them into her meals. Okay, so as you can see, I've been craving chicken lately. So I've got two packs of chicken thighs. Um, and I know I think we're gonna cook some tonight for dinner. I did get a whole chicken because I wanna do it in the Instant Pot or in the pressure cooker, it comes out really good. I bought two of these ratio proteins in vanilla because Nicholas loves vanilla yogurt. I think he's gonna like these. And I got a couple of these two good yogurts for any of us, for the kids or myself or Caesar. I did get some small avocados um, just because. I, I can't part with my zero sugar ready whip. It is not the cleanest of the cleanest keto, but I have to have it in my coffee. I did get another block of Kerrygold butter. I only get the salted kind. I never get the unsalted kind. We love Brussels sprouts with our steaks and we still have a couple of ribeyes in our freezer. So we're gonna have a steak night with some probably bacon Brussels sprouts sometime this week. Got a cucumber so we can slice up. Broccoli, Nick can eat this broccoli fresh. So I'm gonna cut this up, rinse it, put it in a container for him to help himself as a snack. I wanna start doing lettuce wraps for Ivy, maybe some turkey and ham and cheese or pepperoni uh, and wrap it in here and cut it up almost like a sandwich in parchment paper and see what she thinks about that. We've got some chicken tenders. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that, but it's always good to have on hand. Maybe we can do some keto chicken strips or dice them up and make like a chicken broccoli cauliflower rice casserole. I've got some chicken breasts. I always like to uh, split those open, stuff it with some cream cheese and spinach, wrap it in bacon. That's always one of my favorites to do. I haven't had a pork roast, a roast, what do you call it? Pork butt in a long time. So I picked up this one so we can make it some time this week, maybe in the Instant Pot or the Crock Pot, and then just have leftovers uh, for the next couple of days. v, &V sausage. Caesar likes slicing this open, putting a mozzarella stick in it and making a couple of eggs for breakfast. So got some sausages, a couple more jars of rows. I do wanna do stuffed meatballs sometime this week. So I'm gonna cut up some mozzarella sticks, uh, make some meatballs and then pour some rows over it. And I did not get zucchini. And that's one thing I forgot to get at the store because I was gonna do zucchini spirals. Um, with Ivy and see how she likes that. We needed more half and half for our coffee. I got two containers of our bacon because we go through bacon a lot in this house. I bought some of my favorite lean chorizo. This chorizo is so good because it's like a ground sausage more so. If you get the other kind of chorizo, it's a lot of grease and not a lot of meat. So I love this one. Macros are really good. It's got clean ingredients, 100 calories, one net carb so i love that chili so um as you can see i did stay away from the low carb tortillas and bread this haul which i need to do more about staying away from i did buy some turkey slices so we could do the wraps 
I want to get more cheese snacks for the kids. So I've got some, or for all of us, for a sharp cheddar, Colby Monterey Jack. And I did get these combo packs that have mozzarella cheese and the beef salami sticks. We love just snacking on these large deli pepperoni slices. Even the kids like these. Uh, so I got another container of that. I got some roast beef. I like to roll that up if ever I'm wanting a snack or for lunch or something. Uh, we did get a big pack of Munster cheese. It happens to be Caesar's favorite. I love getting the shredded Parmesan cheese because sometimes we do cream sauces like an Alfredo sauce. Sometimes we just pour this over some roasted broccoli. So it's always a staple in our house. And then for more cheese snacks, um, the kids love trying different kinds of cheeses. So I bought this one that has Munster, um, sharp Wisconsin cheddar, smoked Gouda and jalapeno pepper jack. I don't think they'll try that one, but I mean, it's not a ton, but it's enough to kind of snack on and just giving them better options in the fridge. I'm very proud of myself with this haul. You understand? Like sometimes it was like half and half, half stuff for the kids that are not ideal and then my stuff. And so it's nice to kind of see healthier options. Now I just have to rearrange the fridge uh, and the pantry to um, put our things away, mainly the fridge, because everything that I got in this haul goes in the fridge. Um, but I still, you know what, might as well, since it's out on the, on the table, show you the haul that I received from the keto convention. All right, this isn't as laid out nicely, but I'm excited to show you. So Ratio Keto was literally handing people boxes of stuff. Of course, towards the end of the convention, they were eager to get it all out of there. They didn't want to take any of it home. So I brought home a box of this granola. It is one gram of sugar, eight grams of protein, two net carbs, 10 fat. Caesar loves eating cereal with granola. Kids like putting it in their yogurts. Um, so it is a great thing. We'll definitely be using them. I did get a couple of these bars. These are good bars for the kids to kind of get into for snacking. Um, we got an entire box of this cereal. I mean, it's not the lowest, but for the kids, they're the ones that are really going to be eating that. So this entire box is this cereal. I got, I love the Epic pork rinds and they were there at the convention. So I got a bag of pink Himalayan sea salt pork rinds. Found a couple of these moon cheeses blitz mix. So they're cheese Gouda bites with pecans. This one is in Zesty Ranch, and that one is in Crazy Cheesy, so that's going to be a good snack. This is not so. It's kind of the low-carb, zero-sugar version of what Nutella is, which my daughter is obsessed with Nutella, so I'm excited to kind of introduce this to her and take her, ease her out of her Nutella. Uh, what else do we have? We've got some more ratio keto these are like the soft cookies a couple of more bars that i picked up from them so as you can see i hung out in their corner of the lot a lot what else did i get okay over here we've got some moon cheeses in cheddar and black pepper peppa uh we did get some beef uh jerky type uh what else did i get i picked this up that's not from I got that from Sprouts, but I did get some keto bites and some more of these flavored cheese bites, Gouda, smoked Gouda. Oh, they were giving away these skinnies cocktail mixers um, there as well. Epic has all these beef jerky kind of things, or this one's actually chicken barbecue. So I picked up a few of these. Um, Perfect Keto was there and I did get uh, some of these mallow munch and some of these bars. So this one is the uh, brownie bar. I mean, obviously it's, this is not all for me. I mean, this I got them, but I am sharing them with everybody so they can enjoy a healthier sugar less treat for the summer. So we got all these bars. There was a company there that had these sugar sugar alternatives. 
So this is the gold. This one I think is the brown sugar um, to use. And then some of these for like coffee. I did get a couple of packets uh, of monk fruit. Oh my gosh. Redmond's Real Salt was there and I was so excited to see this because this is what I need. I need to be able to carry this in my wallet whenever we go somewhere to restaurants or something and I need to add real salt to my food. So this was a find that I was pretty excited about. So these are the flavored, um, what do you call it? Flavored flavorings, I guess. So this is the loaded baked potato. So it's got mashed potato, cheddar cheese, bacon, and garlic flavors. So when you're baking like this one, I'm gonna try my cornbread with the keto chili and try using this um, cornbread flavoring in there and mashed potatoes. So zero calories, zero glycemic, so zero carbs. So I'm excited to kind of try something new here with that. We've got some macadamia and MCT probiotics and nut butter. And then we bought, here's another inter interesting item. This is a seed butter. It's not a nut butter. So this is a seed butter to try. You can put it in your smoothies for some protein. It's got 10 grams of protein. So another new product. Um, and then here's some of those seeds, same, same company. And then this company had a lot of these mini salami sticks. So I picked up a bunch of different flavors, black pepper, whiskey, chipotle, original, two black peppers. So Caesar will enjoy that as well. I'm not a big salami person. This company was there or they were handing out samples. So I did grab Shelby, which is like a keto version play on M&Ms. Um, obviously they were in my trunks. So they melted up and cracked up a bit, but I'm sure they still taste good. So here's the, oh my God, this was the, the table that was handing out those slices of ribeye. So their meat really, really good. Um, Kansas City barbecue sauce and honey mustard, which I thought the kids would like, especially Ivy. She likes doing honey mustard with chicken strips. So if I do the keto chicken strips, I can give her this honey mustard. Uh, and then the snow sugar ketchup that was there. What else did I get? So this sweet leaf was giving out samples of this. I thought maybe the kids might like it for the summer. Put it in sparkling water or regular water. We have old fashioned lemonade and strawberry guava. I did taste them, they were really good. Uh, a company was passing out these omega-3s. I got a couple of those. And of course, Super Coffee was there. And I came home with two mochas and a black coffee to share with Caesar because he really likes these. This company was there and I picked up one of these sparkling waters in Seabury. I heard that one was the best flavor. And of course, we got matches and pins and stickers. And um, this is to cover the camera in your laptop and to clean it. And what else did we get? What else did we get? Oh, this was something new. CBD infused deep sleep caps because the importance of sleep on your health journey is measurable. I can't even tell you how important it is and how, and how lack of sleep can be detrimental. So I am so curious because I take calm every night and I'm curious to see how this would feel. Um, so yeah, and then aside from all of the snacks and food that I got, I did come home with a cool Peterson's hat. Oh, I'm so excited, it's got bacon on it. Yay, and then I got a few shirts. So test, don't guess, and that's like testing your blood sugar. And then I've got one, I think from Peterson's, as well and this one is a pig with like everything all the goodness that you can get from the pig and then i've got this really cute shirt that says i'm a keto girl hold on hold on in a carby world how cute is that i'm a keto girl in a carby world all right so this is the haul guys this is the haul from the convention which i'm totally totally glad that i went it was so much fun and very informative and it got to meet a lot of people and so so happy i went and of course this is oh i forgot to tell you i did get a bang 
got a bang today so i'll be drinking that later this afternoon and that is all